people welcome back to my youtube channel Elliot Wave Principal I'm your host Shaheen first of all I'm thankful to every single one of you who have participated in the increased uh, viewing of the channel and uh, for th thankful to everyone who is uh, supporting me on patreon as you guys are well aware that I, we are particularly looking for long term trends and I had trouble with bitcoin for a while now I was trying to find some important data points and thankfully we have found those data points now and I was able to actually look at some uh, data discrepancies and uh, I found a long term trend for Bitcoin. So today's video is very important if you guys are in, interested in Bitcoin cryptocurrency in general and it's going to be an eye opener so please pay attention to that section. If you guys are interested in uh, Nasdaq 100, Dow Jones 30, S&P 500 uh, UK with FTSE 100 and then we look at Tesla itself and crude oil if you guys are interested in any one of those and Bitcoin we'll discuss them in the same uh, sequence but if you guys are interested and if you once you have seen these analysis the long-term analysis and I'll discuss the short-term analysis important questions will rise in your head and say how you want to deal this situation in that case or how you want to take benefit of that situation in that case you can come join me on my patreon i am doing some more research on cycles and long-term trends which will be available for gold uh, platinum silver chinese stocks and we will see if i can ask you some suggestion i would definitely add to uh, try to add some more in it uh, from the same category what what does that mean from the same category we'll discuss that in with if some of you guys actually missed my previous video posted on on YouTube last weekend right at the end section of it there is a I'm not sure a lot of people watch that the end section of it the end section if you guys are interested in technical analysis all of sort of technical analysis is not known by the general population or the retailers so you might want to look at it uh, it actually talks about the uh, box theory the and how it got implemented on gold and how it went to completely unnoticed I have we have you I'm, I'm I can promise you you would not have seen that particular content anywhere and I was well aware of it in two years ago when it was happening I noted it that down and uh, we still are gonna keep an eye but if you guys are interested anywhere in WD gain analysis or uh, banners uh, not banner cycle I'm mixing them at Darwis Darwis box theory and then it's very important that you go and look into it was posted on weekend last weekend so you can go back and check it was a weekly video it uh, and it was in the last section enough of talking for that uh, let's start our analysis and see what's happening actually first of all we start by US 100 and uh, <coughs> this thing that you guys are looking at it major top occurred here right over here it says the major top occurred a bear market for 24 months is expected this is underlying the research that I'm doing this is exactly what I'm expecting in the markets in the large term markets now and we will discuss some uh, markets which are not going to go through these cycles um, all of single every single one of them it looks like every single one of them is competing their own patterns they're not the same market since the there is a little bit of difference in some cases there is more difference so in in Nasdaq 100 we are expecting a bear market that expected to run at least 24 months all right anywhere from 21 to 24 months I would say anywhere from 21 to 24 months uh, so what are you expecting right now more recently the data has seen right now <coughs> you want to uh, look at the data and I was raised a question we were expecting for this to continue but as you guys can see that we guys have clearly seen a structure right now all right let me zoom that in so that can help you right so we can clearly right now see a structure which is a uh, flat structure and you guys are reading it right we are expecting it to go upward in that case we are expecting it to go in this region right over here too all right this pattern that you guys are seeing right if you guys look at this pattern then we kind of see the degree of the wave right over here is the same as this one and this one is same too right so when you jump up from that low end within the same degree wave and you find that the para price target is going to be somewhere in that range this pattern itself I have seen it numerous times and it is enormously enormously dangerous and if you guys are paying attention when the prices actually go back above it is actually finding on even a larger degree wave right 
if you first of all we are looking at this diagram individually this wave individually and this wave individually right now if you guys put it i'm not talking about elliot wave analysis forget about that for a bit just a common eye experience we have a huge price drop right over here too if we formed a resistance price went up and price went down all of a sudden again it it tested this level same once again which are the previous resistance now became support now it's going to go and test that again so double top is happening right at the previous resistance point is becoming support is enormously enormously bearish uh, for uh, for the currency for the underlying market which is nasdaq in, in our case in this right here if we like look at the market right now <coughs> right now if you look at the market we can see that this is the turning point for the market right over here bring your eyes close to it right over here what is the next resistance that comes to your mind look at the just follow the market right over here this comes to the next one and in that case 7220 is our target for next couple of months i would say this is our target for next couple of months before that can happen definitely we have already started the uh, the prices to move up there is some uh, as soon as prices go up the the analysis is being changed oh traders have for their things in mind now for blah blah reason right now we're expecting that the wave structure is exactly showing that that the market is going to go up for blah blah reason if you are a fundamental analysis right here we can actually see that behavior so in next uh, what i'm looking at is uh, that i'm looking for this to complete right over here in this region which will be our z we'll have to adjust our channel uh, so that it can actually cover the top right over here in that case and there it will be so this will be our channel and after we reach the end point of the channel we are expecting it to go all the way down and run along the the resistance the our target line right over here so we'll have to increase it So we'll be expecting it to run along right over here and form a something like this price movement. So for next week, I'm bullish on NASDAQ 100 and I'm bearish as far as long monthly uh, trend is concerned. Now the beauty of this, uh, the cycle analysis or the WD GAN analysis and Davos theory analysis and a mix of WD GAN, I mean Elliott wave analysis. The beauty of this is this answer able to answer some long term questions. Uh, it can forecast some long term behavior, how the market is actually looking at it. Uh, there is a point in which we can jump, but uh, no, there was even uh, a gentleman before WD GAN, and that was um, Banner, Banner's cycle. So Banner's theory answer completely different question as compared to what WD GAN answers, and WD GAN's theory answers are completely different questions and what answer was provided by the Darwin's box theory. So Darwin's box theory is answering a completely different questions and W and eventually Elliott wave analysis is we can zoom into into very small time frame. Uh, for that we can also use WD GAN analysis and answer these questions. Uh, so that's how I, at least I found it if any of you guys are interested anyway. So Dow Jones 30, I uh, have removed some labeling. Interesting point is here is a very funny thing and uh, the way human mind works. I was working at Bitcoin and uh, I figured out and I was declared, I was shouting loud and that uh, I have found a bottom right over here too and then we are going to go in a bullish market. And then I changed my mind. And the whole reason I was shouting loud and clear because I found some um, mathematical modeling that was actually indicating to that regard. In that regard, I did some uh, calculations and the whole point is two weeks later, I, I completely forgot about that model, that I applied that model and that is why I was uh, I was doing so. Uh, funny thing is I completely forgot about it. I got into completely different labeling. So human mind, I'm not sure about you guys, but I am mine one is really forgetful. For that, I have decided to go on uh, on trading view, and uh, I will be sharing the videos from the analysis from the trading view, and I'll keep my own research on MT4 or MT5, whatever is in front of me. That's a little bit of story. So some of the labeling is uh, I have deleted that, and then you'll if you want to see the detailed labeling, then you guys can go and look at previous analysis. Let's have a look at what we are looking right now. As you guys can see right now, a similar. If we look into the upside direction, then we have a target of this in uh, Dow Jones right over here. 
So this one target is a little more bullish and we can see that we are not forming exactly the same structure uh, that you are anticipating. So I'm I'm looking this one in just a bit different way. The is more depth in this regard, giving you guys an indication because Nasdaq is more kind of technological one. So we are going to see more depth, uh, more weakness in the uh, in in the stocks that are uh, of technological companies, right? Uh, I'm not sure whether Google is in it, Microsoft is in it, whether um, was Tesla is in it. Uh, some uh, probably some cryptocurrencies would be in it the the mother uh, companies would be in it i'm i'm not i've not seen the detail of them so the whole point is that all the stocks that are in the nasdaq are going to be more bearish and their depth will be more as compared to dow jones right over here we can see that the weakness the the support is not that deep but in uh, in dow jones 30 the support is quite deep uh, so probably we are going to see some more resistance or uh, less weakness in uh, Dow Jones 30. So that's what is indicating. So this is once again the same behavior we're going to see. We're going to expect the prices to go up right over here, touch 33,480 and uh, 500. And then uh, the next target is going to be right over here. So this is the first one and that'll be our second one. Okay. When you come down, that will be our main, as you guys can see, it will be quite lengthier and that will take about, I think about m a month and a half to two months or maybe one month to do one month, let's say one month to two months. I'll see if I can uh, close it down. I mean, um, zoom it in and we can actually give a proper date. So th this is what we are expecting in that regard. First the bullish move and then the bearish move. Uh, the bullish move that you guys are seeing, I think that we are going to see uh, quite a strong bullish move. So that should be done within I think within the next week uh, or maybe by the end of the next week. If it is really slow, uh, let's say that we one goes up and then we take two, three days to for correction and three days, we have three and then two, three days. In that case, we'll have to readjust our timing. S&P 500. Tesla is very interesting. So you guys are interested in Tesla. Keep in mind right to here. I'll be discussing Tesla. So once again, this one is a little more in, uh, in depth as compared to NASDAQ itself. We're going to see some more uh, bullish strength uh, coming into the S&P 500 as compared to the NASDAQ, right? So this is what we are looking for. Next week, we are looking for this to be uh, bullish. That will become our wave uh, one, two. We definitely have to readjust the labeling. If you guys are looking at it, say, this guy doesn't know Elliott wave analysis. I'm, I'm completely aware of it. I just because I'm applying three, four other techniques, so you don't see me kind of being that rigid with it. And I do not focus that much on it. So I'm aware of it that if it's, that should not be entering into that territory. In that case, we can make, make it one and two, another wave one and two. In that case, uh, we will, that will be an A, a B, and a C pattern, because that will be, sorry, not A, B, C, a W, an X, and a Y pattern. That will become a double three wave structure right a complex double three wave structure in which we have uh, flat correction and then we have double zigzag correction and then we have zigzag correction so that wave would actually end right over here right over here in that case as per wave analysis is concerned and same goes for nasdaq uh, for dow jones and same goes for we have one structure that actually started from over here or you can can say in this case we have uh, yeah this one it looks much better as flat correction double zigzag and single zigzag and let's have a look at nasdaq 100 we have definitely a flat correction a double zigzag and another zigzag pattern right over here so double three wave in that case we have wave one and two another wave one and two the downward price movement should be really strong in that case this is what we are anticipating in that regard so i'm aware of it if i haven't mentioned it please uh, ignore that all right Ne the so far FTSE has been holding its strength, but that is not going to be the case. Uh, f reason first of all, we are anticipating this, okay? And I think the next move shall be really crucial. We were expecting for this one to crash further down, and that's going to happen. But next week is going to be a little bullish, and I think so. I think so. This is what you're going to see with FTSE right over here. So this is W. 
x and y right over here you guys can see this is an a a b a c and this case which is a zigzag in this case it's a flat correction so an a b and c once again a double three pattern in a different um, in a different sequence right here we have a zigzag there we had earlier we had three flat correction and then a zigzag and then in the end we had a zigzag here we have first a zigzag and then we have a zigzag and then we have a flat correction which is a b and c uh, we definitely have to readjust the labeling definitely we're going to do that uh, right now you can actually look at the price behavior we're going to jump up we're going to find some resistance right over here too and then we are all, all all the way to the bearish side so it's pretty very interesting trading setups tesla is showing you guys what is going to happen the crucial i was expecting uh, that probably Tesla is done for a while. We're going to see some strength coming back in but right now If you guys are aware of it see how much bounce that we have seen in you guys have already seen how much bounce we have seen in uh, uh, Dow Jones 30 in S&P 500 in even FTSE is uh, not that much bounce, but it didn't drop uh, that much So we have seen quite not much that much bounce in uh, Nasdaq 100 a similar behavior goes right over here too. So I'm expecting within Tesla we shall find some resistance in this region right over here too it can definitely push up there is no saying that it does not it cannot push up uh, it can definitely push up uh, here once again if you guys are looking at the pattern we have a flat pattern we have a zigzag pattern and right now we are looking at a zigzag pattern so right now in that case what we can do on a smaller time frame for a zigzag pattern if you guys are not really that savvy about Elliott wave analysis you can definitely use this channel uh, but as you guys can see this channel is less likelihood of holding it in that case we can add another channel on top of it of the same uh, same height right over here we can add this one over here to give us some guidelines there is a the possibility that it can actually cross through it and reach in this area so there's a, that part of the possibility the important thing is that once this correction is complete the downward price movement is going to be quite interesting and we are now looking at 450 ish or 470 ish price target for Tesla and it's going to be really devastating there is no stopping there could be a possibility that because we are seeing in Nasdaq where is Nasdaq right over here too in Nasdaq we are seeing a massive drop right over here too let me measure that drop and see how much would be uh, so we are right now kind of sitting at right over here will support will be sitting kind of at three out of eight boxes and we are expecting kind of the same uh, five more boxes to drop so let's have a look at Tesla let's do that same okay let's apply the same analysis on that and we can say that okay the support is going to probably come right over here uh, in this region right over here and then in that case Tesla is going to be crashing further down around two hundred dollars all right so it's very interesting Tesla is gonna be uh, sh some just crack out and gonna show some very very weak behavior uh, as far as uh, next couple of months are concerned so I have I'm pretty sure you guys are looking at it and are aware of it and staying away from the technological stocks the most important point as we discussed earlier I was uh, now when you guys present a point I look at the data that I have and the uh, I try to absorb if I see some if, if I do not some see something I would say no it is not the case if I see something I would openly say that okay I have found something uh, this is uh, Bitcoin right now updated analysis and I can right now tell you guys that I am uh, kind of bringing back the same point right now that we are going to see massive price increase in uh, next week and half so uh, in Bitcoin the upper price target is 32,500 after that when that happens as you guys are aware of it that the same structure I was talking about that the correction and a move and a correction in that region this pattern itself has helped me quite a bit this is the pattern that we're going to see in Bitcoin and you guys are aware of it what's going to happen after that so we're going to see massive drop in Nasdaq in the next couple of months and same is going to be in Bitcoin if you guys are interested in Bitcoin 
then let me have a look at uh, let me show you guys what can happen actually trading view BTC because I wanted to show you guys uh, an important chart mm -hmm. all right there is this so this is a log chart for the logarithmic chart for the Bitcoin it is giving an indication that just because it has dropped that much the story is not over this drop is expected to continue for next how much yeah you have read it right we are bottom is expected till October 2023 so we're gonna see the pull back do not buy if you guys are interested in in Bitcoin wait for the correction to happen and if it crosses its second time again that's your buy okay let me bring that point if you guys are interested in Bitcoin and at least wait for the confirmation we are definitely looking for if you guys are interested I have some I have bought some uh, coins right over here and I'm gonna sell them right over here when they reach it so if you guys are let's say if some of you guys are thinking ah he's, he's talking bullish so you know what wait for the prices to go in this area provide a corrective pattern and when that pattern broke breaks up you can buy it that will be giving you indication that I was wrong in my analysis so a lot of people are gonna buy it and that's going to be another uh, another point where it will drag a lot of people in the, into the market and they will go red very soon so that's something like we have seen over here a lot of people came into the market it's a kind of um, bear trap bull market trap yeah bear trap bull trap so it's gonna trap a lot of bulls right over here it did a lot of trap a lot of bulls right over here and it will trap a lot of bulls right over here and then soon all of a sudden as you guys can see the world this is actually basically indication that the economy will keep contracting because people will start losing money very fast very fast especially in cryptocurrency so bottom is expected in October 2023 as far as the um, wing as uh, so the wave analysis is concerned here is your wave analysis we are expecting uh, even weekend is expecting to be quite strong right over here I'll I'll show you guys the labeling uh, on a smaller time frame as well if you guys are interested uh, and then I'm expecting a huge drop in the price of Bitcoin uh, and that shall be this shall be done about in a week and a half to or in a week let's say and that shall be done in next uh, next couple of months so we're achieving next couple of months are gonna bring here's the point I want to share with you guys if you guys have cryptocurrencies lying in these uh, exchanges you do not want to leave them there let's say you you do not believe in a bear market but right now you do not want to leave your cryptocurrency relying even in exchanges even my mine is in one of the exchange so I'm talking as soon as it goes out I'm gonna sell out and I'm gonna pull out uh, and for a good while till actually we see the bottom in 2023 so that that's what I'm thinking right now uh, let's have a look on a smaller time frame if some of you guys are actually interested in uh, okay what is he talking about uh, so I'm right now considering this as a smaller wave 1 and 2 another smaller wave 1 and 2 and I'm anticipating it to be wave 3 of 3 this one and then we'll have wave 4 of 3 wave 5 of 3 let's have a do a quick analysis right over here 1 two and then you're looking for uh, three four and five now the problem here is that if you guys are aware of uh, uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency when they move up they move up really sharp so a strong price is expected a strong price movement is expected in wave three and we'll see some correction coming in right over here and four and five because I told you guys that uh, normally we have 1.618 for this one we can actually use uh, about 1000, 1100, 1200 all those so I'm gonna use 1000 right over here 1000 percent right over here so this is 500 right over here and it's reasonable because we are finding resistance we are, uh, by the price structure so right now we're gonna 500 let's make it uh, 600 for no reason so that's our target for wave 3 
and somewhere in, in wave 4 at the lower end we'll see pullback and then finally we'll see a 5 wave, 5th wave so and then within wave 3 we are gonna look at a smaller wave 1 and 2 and a stronger wave 3 and a 4 and a wave 5 definitely we'll have to change the labeling give me a moment let's see we have what we have primary no we do not have to uh, this is minute and the other one will be minor okay so we can change that to minor if you guys are interested let me quickly change the color because it's probably confusing you guys a lot all right here you go so right now I'm looking that we have wave 1 and 2 complete, wave 1 is complete, smaller wave 2 is complete, wave 3 of 3 is going to be very strong, then we'll see a pullback in wave 4, then we'll see a wave 5 completing the expanded wave 3, this one right over here, uh, then we'll have a wave 4 of this degree and then wave 5 of this degree. I think that should be done if you guys are interested in low small time frame analysis. Um, now if, if you guys have bought cryptocurrency, I think this is going to be the ideal point to sell it and then wait for it what happens at that point. Once again, every cryptocurrency is going through a different stage, so you do not can uh, can rely on all of this. Crude oil. I'm still looking for crude to go up. Right over here, I mentioned you guys that if it goes down, I miss it, I miss it. And I did not take the trade right over here. So I did not take the trade right now you guys are, are uh, thinking right that we are looking for an expanded flat a b and c an expanded flat is being uh, drawn in next few days we can see something be this behavior a pullback would be really good one in this case and then we can go uh, we can definitely definitely go bearish for this one right over here at that point a double point support will be coming this one as well will be just below the, mm, the support zone and then we can expect the prices to go further down the whole problem is just give me a moment because give me a moment I'm looking at the timeline this timeline looks a little different as what we are seeing in uh, give me a moment 10 days the timeline is a little different for crude oil as compared to the other markets to pay so pay attention for that please all right there's a possibility that we can actually achieve uh, the bearish price movement earlier as compared to the other markets so please there is also a possibility that we can actually see uh, the trend for a longer period of time than we're expecting all right in that case we shall be actually looking for the prices to come all the way down to 60 ish dollar if if you're going to continue for the same time pattern as we are going to see in uh, in Nasdaq in that case from the double top right over here too from 100 we're gonna see some price movement going the, all the way down to 60 ish dollar and that won't surprise me as well so be prepare for uh, be ready to prepare for that all of these markets are showing some very very negative mood negative sentiment bearish outlook completely so how we can actually um, help those uh, ourselves in these situations what different stock markets to enter what different stocks to buy I'm trying to make a portfolio we have already discussed half of that some of you guys want to take a short position but once again a short position is not as beautiful as a bullish position because let's say you are taking selling a stock at a hundred dollars US and you, you wanna wait for it to drop to let's say you know, 25 dollars in that case you would have made uh, 75 per point 75 percent of what you risked just 75 percent you risked a hundred dollar and you put your stop at two, let's say $200 so but if you just flip it and you buy a stock at 25 and you sell it at at a hundred so that's a 300 percent profit on top of it so it's a completely different way to uh, look at the market uh, I love being long 
and if you guys are love love being long you can come join me uh, we can actually see where exactly we can enter into this gold and silver market and platinum market uh, why should we be entering uh, what I'm looking for long-term analysis for them and if you guys are interested in some alternating markets Chinese stock market is showing some very very interesting long-term forecasts you'll be able to see my updated research on that too uh, you can come join me this way you'll be helping me as well you can come join me on uh, uh, patreon right over here too this is called uh, patreon.com forward slash Elliot wave green you can come join me uh, on this one right over here which is stock market metals oil forex weekly and under this one I'll be able to answer any questions or we'll try to forecast uh, if there is some change and then and our market becomes messy I'll try to bring that analysis during the week as well I won't be uh, posting any midweek analysis and uh, if you guys are interested in seeing Forex gold and silver and platinum GDX where they are going and some Chinese stock markets uh, where different uh, what are different uh, indices or stock markets indexes to invest in you can come join me and where the long-term potential is uh, doing so definitely you'll be helping me a lot I'm right now jobless <laughs> so <laughs> I hope that I, I get a job soon let's have a look at if you guys are interested you can come and you can visit this song this is called Pasuri Right, a lot of uh, people from the India and Pakistan probably have heard about it, but you can still enjoy it. It's a pretty good one. Wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye bye.